Fabs and Besties! Time for another Quick Crafts! Today we're focusing on the crafts you see in our YouTube lives, where you can craft along with us. However, sometimes they might be difficult to see. So today we're gonna go over a few so you can see up close what I'm doing. First up, tea. This printable is available on our blog, myfroggystuff.blogspot.com. I click the tab that says printables, choose this one, scroll down to the album that I want. Let's select food and grocery. It will open in a new tab and then we can just pick on the printable we want. I click the three little dots in the top corner to download and print. I printed mine on cardstock. We did make this printable available for larger dolls as well. For this project, we are using string, a glue stick, and scissors. Let's start by cutting out the tea box, cutting around all of the little tabs. Then let's make us a little tool to help us with our folding. I'm taking some clear plastic from packaging, cut a rectangle, and you wanna make sure you get a nice, straight edge. Mine is one inch by six and a half. Cut it into two pieces, stack them together, and tape on one end. Use some decorative tape if you wanna get fancy, but for the most part, here it is. This does work best with a heavier weight plastic. I got mine from a doll box. Just slide the printable between the two layers of plastic, line up the edge with the line, Hold it firm and then bend it. It's an inexpensive way to get nice clean lines and you can do a little recycling. Once everything's been folded, let's take this little side tab and glue it to one of the sides of the box. I'm using a glue stick, then use tweezers to hold them together. Make sure they're lined up first. Then just hold it for a few seconds until it dries. Fold in the bottom tabs and glue those down. I use a pencil with an eraser on the end to just press it down, hold it for a few seconds while it dries. And now our box is pretty much done. To close it, just fold in the tabs and the top tucks inside. But of course, we don't want to have an empty tea box, so we have tea bags to go inside. We have like the little pocket and the actual tea. Cut them out, fold over the tabs on the pocket and fold it in half. And then you're gonna glue just the little tabs to the back. I place a little scrap piece of paper in there just to make sure I don't glue it shut to create a little pocket to hold the tea bag. To make the tea, we have the bag and the little tag or label. Fold both of them in half, cut a small piece of thread, glue the ends between the <laughs> glue the ends between the paper. This is tiny work. Tweezers are useful. Place the tea inside of the little sleeve. Probably should use paper for this for the sleeve. There we go. Then place it into the box. Make more to fill the box. The printable comes with four tea bags per box, but I have eight because I printed it again with regular computer paper. I use the sleeves made out of computer paper to hold the tea bags, and then the ones I made out of cardstock, well, those can be used as filler. For me, the paper is just a little more flexible, so it's easier to get it in and out. And now we can place it into our teacup. And there we go. Make some doll tea. And I would suggest not pulling the tea bag by the string. Up next, lipstick. This is totally my favorite mini lipstick right now. For this project, we are using a cotton swab, a little piece of foam board for a drying table, decorative tape, I have a little gold foil tape, paint, and gloss Mod Podge. Cut a piece of the cotton swab, cut one end at an angle to make the shape of the lipstick. Make a hole in the foam board to fit the cotton swab. 
Make sure the pointy side is facing up so we can paint it using some acrylic paint. I did a mixture of pink, red, and a touch of gold. If you have a certain doll that you're using, it might be fun to match it to their lip color. Allow it to dry, then remove it from the foam, trim it to a little over half an inch, wrap the bottom with a decorative tape. If you do not have or wish to use a decorative tape, you can always use a quarter inch strip of paper. I go around a few times until I get the thickness that I want. Cut a small piece of a gold tape. If you don't have gold tape, you can just use paper and paint it. Then use a glue stick so you can glue it around the lipstick. I had to use a little bit of glue because it didn't want to stick. Brush it with Mod Podge to make miniature lipstick so the dolls can always find their color. Up next, dollhouse lamp. We made this in a YouTube Live a few weeks back. For today's project, I found some ceramic beads, which I think are pretty cool. I'm going with a dark wood button, a cut piece of a bamboo skewer, computer paper, cardstock, paint, a toilet paper roll, and an LED light. This is a flameless tea candle, and here is a button light that I found on Amazon, thanks to Stovall the Doll. I like this one because it is super bright. I start by painting the bamboo skewer. You can use whatever color you like. I'm going with gold. Trace the toilet paper roll on cardstock. Cut it out. Cut a strip of paper. Mine's at one and three quarter inches. Wrap the paper around the toilet paper roll, gluing it to itself. I apply glue going all the way around so we have a nice solid tube. And I glued it at the edge with a little bit hanging over so it'll be a little easier to remove the roll. But before we remove the roll, let's glue in that cardstock circle, making sure not to glue it to the roll. I'm using hot glue to attach it. Once dried, remove it from the toilet paper roll, cut the painted bamboo skewer to the desired length, glue it to the center of the button, add the beads, glue the paper lampshade on top to make a miniature lamp. On YouTube Live, we made our shade a little taller. This one is two inches and these are one and three quarters because we needed it to be taller than the flameless tea candle. But the button light allows us to make it a little shorter. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> that was totally clumsy. And now we have a working light for the dollhouse. Sorry, my tea light is color changing. But you don't have to make it a working light. I think they work pretty good without it as well. I made some smaller ones in a couple of different colors. Paperclip bead earrings. We made these for Black History Month. They are pretty simple. We use paper clips and seed beads. We are also using pliers and wire cutters. I start by unfolding a paper clip, begin to curl one end to make a circle. Bend the end and trim it to make the post. Make two the same size, making sure the circle comes just about to a close. Then I bend it forward just a little so we can add the beads. Then just bend it back so it's touching the wire and closing the circle. And hopefully it's close enough that none of the beads come off. Repeat to make two to make earrings for the dolls. Paper dolls! I love paper dolls and I love that Bella has designed a few that are available to download and print. Based off of her frog food series, the Cupid paper doll is now available on a dressable body. This paper doll is different from earlier ones because it doesn't have a wig. The hair is attached. You can color the doll however you like. Don't you just love coloring? It's so relaxing and time consuming. Draw a triangle on the side of the paper, cut on the line drawn, fold over the edge, 
cut out the paper doll. I use an X-Acto knife to get around some of the trickier areas, leaving a little bit at the bottom so we can fold it over, take the triangle, and let's cut the bottom at an angle, glue it onto the back. I made some cuts at the bottom to make space for the little triangle in the back to complete our newest paper doll. Since she was made on the same body type as our first paper dolls, we can use the same clothes. I have white poster putty in the back so the clothes can stick to her. Right down to her shoes. I think she's cute, super happy. Even though the original doll was inspired by Cupid, you can style her however you like and use our paper doll fashion designer templates to sketch, color, and cut it out to make a new look for our paper doll. No sewing machine required. Now that we have our paper dolls, we need furniture. In a YouTube Live, we made this, but I decided to design all new stuff for this video. Dresser, lamp, book, Although I did change the color of the book to gray, nightstand, plant, art, more books, and a bed. Starting with the dresser lamp and book printable, cut everything out. On the lamp, I left a little bit of paper at the bottom so I can bend it back and help it to stand. Fold on the lines for the book. We can even use our little tool that we made earlier to make a little paper book. We can also take a little piece of foam board and glue it inside to make it a little more solid and help keep its shape. For the dresser, make small cuts on the side just to the corner. Fold in the sides and the top back. Fold over the side tabs, then glue them to the side of the dresser to make a dresser for our paper dolls. We can place the lamp on top with the book. Have to be very careful that everything doesn't come crashing down. Yay! And now our paper doll has some furniture. Of course, you can color it, print it on colored paper to personalize it. Now we do have printables for a room. We made ours into a book. But now that we have 3D furniture, we can glue our room printables onto foam board to make a hidden doll room for our paper dolls. So we can set up their room. Let's make the bed. It requires two printables. Cut out the headboard, footboard, and pillows. On the pillows, I left a little at the bottom so we can fold it over so they can stand. Cut out the bed. There is a tab at the top, and then I left two more for the sides. Let's fold them all over. Fold over the sides. Glue the tabs onto the headboard and the footboard. We even have a little line there. Place the pillows on top to make a bed for our room. The last printable is for the nightstand, books, art, and a potted plant. I color the leaves for the plant, cut everything out, assemble the nightstand just like the dresser, cut out and make the books, cut out the pictures. We can attach it to the wall or glue a triangle behind them just like the paper doll so it can stand up. Cut out the pot and the leaves. I added a tab onto the end of the pot. Fold on the lines, glue the tab in the back, glue in the leaves and bend them to finish our paper doll room. This is an adorable background for our paper dolls. And Bella did say a paper doll guy is in the works. This last one is an oldie but goodie, veggie candy bars. We made it for Halloween a while back. I'm kind of a fan of veggies, y'all. We made them look like popular candy bars. Just cut them out with the template Use the template to cut craft foam. We can use more than one layer if needed. Wrap the paper around the foam. 
glue the ends shut and trim the ends to make doll size candy bars. So we made lipstick, lamps, tea, earrings, a new paper doll, a paper doll room, and veggie bars. Bringing us to seven crafts from our YouTube lives. Thank you for joining us for another seven quick crafts video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at My Froggy Stuff, The Frog Vlog, and Bella of My Froggy Stuff. And we will see you next time.